Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Git and software developers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I have been working as a software developer for almost 10 years and I just joined a startup that is forcing me to learn Git. I found it difficult and can't, uh, I can't understand rebasing, cherry picking and other advanced features. What should I do? Learn it. Is that too presumptuous of me to say that you should learn it? I, that you find it difficult, I understand, but surely there should be someone around who can give you some tips about learning materials or like ask your coworkers. Do you I mean that's the say this is the this is the do this is the life, dude. This is the thing. You have a new tool that you haven't been working with before, and they they work the, with this thing in in your stack. Ergo, you have to learn it, otherwise you can't be effective, and especially when it's such a fundamental thing as Git. If you haven't been working with Git, I'm assuming that you've either worked in a very very niched fashion, or you've used something like Subversion or Mercurial or some other version control system, because version control systems are the norm for all of IT today. Like, uh, it's actually, for the juniors who may not know this, guys, most people don't even, like most jobs, they don't even put Git as a requirement on the CV because it is as obvious to the company they they presume that you know this there is no discussion that you should know it if you can, you can't in most cases you won't be able to save your code or like do anything without knowing the tool right? in terms like you can't ship your first feature without it and it's it's like I don't know. It's it's as obvious to them that you sh sh should be able to use Git as that you know how to work with an operating system. Like nobody even puts it on the requirements because it's such a given for most most uh, most companies. Apparently not for you, unless, as I said, you're working with Subversion or something else. But definitely. So uh, for as I was saying, the you have to learn this. Uh, and the thing that I can give you that is nice is that more advanced features like cherry picking, I mean cherry picking, you don't re depending on your workflow, because that's kind of the thing as well, depending on how you use Git, because there's a lot of strategies for your workflows, Git in, itself, in of itself is a fairly complicated tool. I don't think anybody's going to disagree with me there. It takes a little while to get used to, and it can take many years for you to get really really good at it and like understand all the features depending on how invested you are but that's the beautiful part about it for most workflows you don't really need rebasing for most workflows cherry picking is really not something that you do unless it's part of your workflow and the other advanced features like ref logs or like we, I don't know what you mean by advanced features they're not really the everyday stuff the everyday stuff is merging, pulling, committing, pushing, etc, etc. These are the like the normal standard commands and these are the, the those are the basics like rebasing as an example. I don't think I I didn't use rebasing for years until I started in one specific company where like the the uh, the workflow was a little bit different because one thing that you could be facing as an example would be atomic commits or a strategy for something like that where people want you to squash your commits now the basic idea of an atomic commit is that okay I have well you there are variations to this I'm just going to give you the one that we were using which is a general term general definition where basically the idea is if you have been working on a story you create a branch and you start working on that story and you can create a bunch of junk commits like I have a I have a short command that's how they see I am for just creating a commit which says work in progress that's all it says and I have maybe 10 20 of those before I'm done with my story now the uh, the git fanatics or the git purist they will cry blood if i merge that into the master branch because then the tree is going to look really ugly because it's going to be a lot of these junk commits that doesn't mean anything so then the rebase is a very useful thing because then i can still use these the junk commits so that i can keep my commits small so it becomes easier for me to do like a, a bisect or something like that if i wanted to uh, and also keep my state 
so I can rebase and I can squash all of the commits into one commit that I just say I did this thing in this feature here and then I merge it into my master branch as an example and that keeps the, the commit tree clean these like that's like and that's just because we were using a specific pattern but I've also worked in companies where that wasn't really necessary like we didn't really care about the cleanliness of the master branch we simply merged didn't really matter you know, how we did it and I mean I have co-workers who ha have such problems with git that they don't actually like, they have they check out a branch and they work until they're absolutely finished and then they commit one commit so that's another way of doing an atomic commit without rebasing so that's probably the thing that I can give you so what I want you to take away from this is that if you start working in any company as an IT professional as a software developer or whatever you have to understand that that is part of the job this is why it's not for everybody to be in a software development uh, you can start anywhere and then you have to kind of just to the stack that you're dealing with you have to learn things and in some cases a tool such as git which is fairly fundamental might sneak up on you you haven't used it because you've been working I assume that you've been working in practically the same company for the last 10 years because I can't imagine you've been walking around and somehow magically been in several companies where none of them used git it depends of course on like your region and so forth but git is a very common tool you might have been using subversion or some other of the version control systems but git is probably the biggest one that there is today and now you have to do that grown-up thing that everybody hates you have to just deal with the situation and figure it out as best as you can ask your coworkers if they can give you any learning resources or something like that and remember that the, f the funny part about git is that the basic commands are usually enough for most workflows and if you need to know about rebasing and cherry picking and so forth it's usually because you have either a very specific workflow or you fucked up or you need to do something very advanced and honestly you don't have to master that until those situations occur as long as you have a working process that will allow you to save your code and like deploy it that is going to be fine most people I know who work with git haven't mastered all the commands N not even by a long shot because it's not required for most diff workflows have a great day